Okay guys, guys and gals, this is King Henry, and you're probably wondering what the hell am I doing here. And this has been a huge problem. I'm trying to get this uh, six-line RAS out of my tank. Um, Kirby Part 2. And he's been, severe, he's been hanging out underneath here. Um, and I've stung, I've got stung and almost poisoned from, by the Zoas there. Uh, and it freaking killed Mandy um, because of the Zoas and I almost went to the hospital but I didn't and I'm okay um, you're probably asking me why didn't you just pull the rock out well over here we have in here I've got a nice let me zoom in here yeah that coral back there back in there's a stony and it's growing from that rock and over to that rock over there um, so I didn't want to disturb that and so I have to go to the extra length of dividing the tank so I finally dropped the water down kind of like Moby Dick here um, last straw so what I did is I lowered the water lowered the water down I had a beer outside came back just now and Kirby was over here and Kirby the the six line RAS. Um, he's in this section, and all this rock I can remove, and that's the beautiful part about it. Besides the kidney tree, he's not going to get away from that. Um, I can get everything totally reorganized on that side. This is a barrier that I used, this is a, from a popcorn machine. Um, which I hope to take out soon. Kind of neat looking uh, from this perspective. But regardless, uh, I couldn't think of anything else. I've tried just about everything else. Um, little fish traps here and there. The guy is super sly and super smart. And I really didn't have any other idea except for dividing the tank. And now I'm going to be taking the rest of this rock out and catching that little bastard and taking him to the fish door. <laughs> so this that's how I did it. Um, if you guys have any other ways to do it that uh, is less obtrusive, uh, please let me know in the notes. Please like, uh, subscribe if you want. Oh, and in the next video coming up, uh, this will be all clean and nice. This is the uh, J-Bow uh, J uh, Wave Maker that I just got right there. That's pretty killer. With this controller right there that's pretty neat and that's pretty cool for this tank it's the i think it's the rw40 it's the 40 one which is way powerful enough for uh, this tank anyway different different video i am gonna get this little rat bastard there oh there he is yep hang on let's get that guy dun, 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 dun. he's back there somewhere Yep. Okay, well, this has been like a three-week tour for me, and it's finally coming to a close. Okay, one final note here. Kirby Point 2, uh, 2.0 here, has been super aggressive, um, almost shark-like, um, actually hunting over Ginger and um, Oreo there, the clowns. Um, that's why their fins are kind of, you know, they've been stressed out. Um, he's, he was a cool creature. I don't recommend these type of uh, animals, these fish, in a, such a small tank because over time they grow and they become more aggressive and they kind of get that animal instinct that kind of kicks in. And you can kind of see he's, uh, well, he's trapped right now, which is great. And so pretty soon I'm going to be fishing him out and I'm going to sleep better and live a better life. <laughs> And Joe's sitting there like, dude, just get this over with, man. Ciao for now. Stay tuned for the next video. It's going to really feature the, uh, the awesome ref refuge, uh, ref refugium and the wave maker and a few other things. All right, later.